Good morning, guys. Um, well, you know, I won't be here today. Um, I'll be grading essays, so I'm just going to kind of give you the rundown for today and the expectations of what you need to get done in class. Um, and then I will see you tomorrow. Um, first of all, uh, this is for literature and language. So after this, you'll start with your DOL. Remember, I know it's day five, but we'll grade it tomorrow, okay? And then I'll give you a new one tomorrow to do Friday and then the rest of next week. Um, I do want you to turn in your summaries that you wrote last night for homework, um, but that's it, just the summary, okay? I'll get everything else from you tomorrow, but I wanna make sure that you did your homework tonight, last night. Um, after your DOL, you're going to have between 10 and 15 minutes to work on your plot mountain. Second period, I don't think that you need 15 minutes. I think that you guys probably need a little bit less time. But fourth period, I think that you guys will probably need 15 minutes. And I know some of you are already done and you just move on to the next thing like we would normally do. Um, you are going and that's going to be up to the sub how long um you get so if you are not working or pay and not paying attention then i would expect you get less time because that's on you you know the expectation we started this yesterday you have to be working together and you have to agree on what you're doing and both partners should be involved in making this plot mountain it's not individuals um when you're done close reader okay um you'll read it's called from the jumping tree so that's what's on my screen right now Remember when we do close reads, you need to read, like I would try and read through, okay, line, what lines one to 30 before, right, you do the annotating part. I don't like when you're doing it at the same time. Remember, your first read is to always read through it first and then go back and make the annotations. So those of you that like to speed through it, and I would really love to name names right now, but I'm not going to because I know exactly who you are because you just like to go really fast. Force yourself to slow down and read this, okay? That is a requirement for me. Um, this should take you a little bit of time. It's not just blow through. Um, make sure you hit all the points on here, okay? Um, you're answering all the questions. I don't remember there, if there's a discussion question or not, but um, you won't need to do the discussion question. I don't know that there's any vocabulary. Oh, the discussion question's on number six, but don't worry about that. Um, and it doesn't look like there is any vocabulary, so you should be good to go. Uh, make sure you read about the author because the story um, kind of reflects his experiences. Um, if you finish, I have my notes in front of me. If you finish, okay, um, you can work on ST math, but remember, okay, you don't get to just bla blaze through everything and then do ST math, right? You have to take your time and do it right and do it well, and then you can do ST math, okay? Um, hopefully, um, you guys are working on that outside of the classroom. I'm not sure who, if one of the teachers is going to have um, ST math in their classroom today at lunch, so sorry about that. And then before I forget, homework club today is with Mrs. Klein, okay, in room 27. Um, be good. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to try and get all your essays, well, a good chunk of essays graded today. I'm not sure I'll get all of them done. Uh, make sure tomorrow's a spirit day, so it's like rare, like Valentine's color, so red, pink, or white. So I will... I will be participating in the spirit day and red, wearing red, pink, or white. You should do the same. Um, yes, I will see you tomorrow. Um, that's all I got for you today.